Rebecca Blankenship has spent a lot of time in Frankfurt this session. I think that a lot of LGBT people in Kentucky have felt afraid, they felt confused, they felt attacked. She and others in the LGBTQ community have watched controversial bills pass through despite strong opposition. You know, seeing bills pass that cost children's lives is obviously deeply painful, um, but frankly not totally unexpected. Bills ranging from the use of preferred pronouns in schools and turning to teachers or mental health professionals to talk about sexuality. I grew up in a Kentucky that was not as accepting of LGBT people as the one that we have now, and I am convinced that if we go backwards, that we will see immense costs um, to people that we all love and care about. It is a sensitive topic that Rebecca says is mentally taxing to LGBTQ youth who already felt marginalized. I sincerely believe that the legislators are genuine in their desire to stand up for kids that have been deeply marginalized and to make sure that those kids are protected. But they're being lied to about the best way to do that. Officials with Lexington's National Alliance on Mental Illness say the legislation has taken a toll on youth, saying they don't feel listened to, adding the youth suicide rate is dangerously high. Rebecca says she will continue to be a voice and believes there are lawmakers working to make a difference. What we're concerned about, I think, is that the bill is gonna rush through uh, before there's real time to be deliberative about how we protect these kids. In Frankfurt, Chad Hedrick, WKYT.